Hey everybody, this is Steve Rich with Automation D&D. This time what I want to bring to you is how to run Nexus 7000 under GNS3. What it is is a Nexus 7K emulator called Titanium. A year or two ago somebody leaked it from inside Cisco. It was originally just a purely for internal Cisco use kind of a tool not to be released to the public. Somebody leaked it and now it's all over the place. If you just search for it you can find it. But it's an actual virtual machine and it gives the feel of an actual Nexus 7000 system. And what we do is we begin by importing it into VM Workstation. Get my task manager up so we can watch what happens on the CPU as we do this and uh, what you do is you download Titanium and you browse to where you've got the files after you extract them and you will import them. Well actually what I'm going to do is open up the folder and when you extract the file that you download you will find the VMX file, right click on it, and open with VMware Workstation. And what this is, is just purely in a format ready to go for VMware Workstation. We have to make minimal changes to make this work. One of the things we have to do is something so that we can putty into the machine we have to add a serial port and then pipe to it. Use a named pipe. So slash dot slash pipe slash and I'm going to call it N7K one I think that's it. I want to show you a couple settings actually now that I think about it. It has as part of its fundamental configuration two processors it wants two gigs of RAM. I've tried running it with less unsuccessfully, but um, it takes quite a bit of uh, memory for a standard PC unless you've got 16 gigs or more. Let's fire it up. When this message comes up, say I copied it. Here I'll get an instance of putty ready to run. Click on serial first. And as soon as this machine is up and running, you'll see a login prompt come up here. Check out how all four cores are being hit by this. But at least the workload is distributed quite well. Memory use is going up. It's all good. There we go. But it's not done booting up. You can log in. Admin and Cisco are the username and password. If you just hit return, 
you can move the prompt, but if I do a show run, oh, actually, wow, that came up quickly. Well, as you can see, it's settling down. After it stops booting up, it's like it hardly uses any CPU, but as you can see, the memory does peak. It takes a good solid 2 gigs of RAM. Anyway, what we do now is we shut this down because we know it works. Now that this machine is shut down, what we do is we go up to File, Export to OVF, and tell it where to go. And I've prepared a I've prepared a directory that I want to dump this into. Okay, we're done making the OVF file. Let's get rid of VMware Workstation. And let's bring up VirtualBox. We go up to File. We import an appliance. And we browse to where the OVF file is. It's in the root of my hard drive. VMs. And it's this directory right here. OVF next reinitialize the MAC addresses of all the network cards import okay now that it's imported we have to name it properly this is Nexus 7000 Machine 1 Notice the memory is 2 gigs like it was for um, VMware Workstation storage, the virtual hard disk. And it automatically enabled these four adapters here. Hmm. Serial port. We enable a serial port. Hit the drop down. It's a host pipe. Create the pipe slash slash dot slash pipe slash n7k dash zero If I'm not mistaken, that should be all. Let's give it a shot and see how it goes. Fire it up.
and as soon as this machine comes up we'll be prompted to log in okay everybody here we go we got our login screen and again admin in Cisco very good it works once you've confirmed that it works all you need to do is all you need to do is shut it down just kill the power and then clone it right click hit clone reinitialize the MAC addresses of all network cards next full clone and that's that very quick process it's a full independent clone and what happens is GNS3 what GNS3 does is it reads VBox Manager and picks up all the machines that it carries and it offers them as potential virtual machines to run under GNS3 here let's rename this zero two cancel go up to edit preferences virtual box VMs search on new drop down menu N7K01 edit enable remote console start the VM in headless mode that means the console that comes up under um, VirtualBox the big console never will come up you will have the small console kind of giving you an idea of what's on the screen but it's not important GNS3 will give us our console connection how many network adapters do you want let's give it eight new let's get the other N7K highlight and edit this one enable remote console start in headless give it eight adapters hit apply and OK and what you will find is you've got two new machines here here we can actually go and change the uh, symbol for it go up here right click change symbol call it a multi-layer switch since that's actually what it is, a multi-layer switch. Okay, let's get ready to try this. Um, I'm going to move this up here so we can keep an eye on that little screen. And let's drag out one of the Nexus. And let's fire it up. That's the console. It seems to distribute the workload across all four of the cores of the CPU really well. Now remember, it's configured as a two CPU machine with two gigs of RAM. 
very evenly. Remember it was designed as a two core machine with two gigs of RAM so it looks like it's very evenly starting. It doesn't hammer one core right to death. My God, my voice sucks. And there we are at the login screen. Sometimes it hesitates for quite a little while when you give it a show run right away. It's not done booting up.
Okay, this is the console for that 7200 router I just dragged in. What the VIOS does is it hits one core really, really hard. And there you have it. You've got three pretty decent machines there in GNS3 quite easily.